see those two. The staff of the Michael Sumara Library have set up a section in the library for the people to come and pay their respects, displaying pictures and articles of the life and achievements of the Grand Chief Sir Michael Thomas Sumare. One of his achievements is the Honorary Doctorate of Laws at the University of Papua New Guinea in 1985. The Grand Chief has also contributed to the library over the years. The Reader Services librarian, Susan Gandhi, expressed sentiments of the last time the Grand Chief visited the library with his daughter, Dalciana, to present books. He still came back here to see that things were okay. See, everything, every aspect of his life was my children, my country, my people. The oldest serving staff in the Michael Sumara Library, who started in 1982, expressed deep sadness to the Grand Chief's passing and said that it is important that the nation's history is passed down. The like generation will know, if you kill a woman, if you this line, the generation will this time long from 70s in the comment, 60s come 70s in the comment, long end. I don't mean it's a uh, bit of this icon of Mipla. Susan Gandhi shares similar sentiments. The chief, family father, and son of the peacemaker may have gone, but his legacy must live on. Most of the information that we need on the late Grand Chief Sir Michael Thomas Sumare or any other leader of this nation is either written by interested history students or others from other countries from their perspective. The ones that we have in the library are limited. The challenge now is for us to start recording our history or the next generation will never know the full rich history of this nation. Gertrude Gabi, National MTV News.